well hello people so in this video i'm going to show you to you how to implement update method api using block pattern so this is the api that i created for update user and there are several variables that you need to passing to the server there is id first name last name and file upload and in here this is the final result that you can get through this tutorial so when i click this icon then the application will be showing the indicator loading and after that it will be fetch data from the api in here this is the endpoint for api get user and let's try to edit profile then and you can see there is the icon pitch there to indicate that you want to update your image profile so let's just click this one and then click the other image then we also want to change the last name up again then let's click the update okay the loading will be coming again and after that the message dialog will showing so it's indicated the update successfully and let's just close it and then it will be running to fetch data from the api and as you can see now the attribute in last name was changed and the picture also was changed so this is the final result from this tutorial and without any further ado let's just do this shall we so here i was create the design page profile and as you can see here there is a image for showing our picture and then the edit button over here to edit your profile and the detail information of our profile will be placed over here and there are two button cancel and then log out and now we need to implement gate data from API using block. And so let's see the, the API that created for user. Here's the response of API. As you can see, there is a response call, response message, and response data. And the detailed information of profile will store in response data. So we need to create model for this JSON of our model so let's go back to code and let's create model user inside user model so here yes i think i already create model user and there is attribute for id first name last name image and also email and here is for mapping data from json and now we need to create repository file to call our api so let's just create this one let's just give a name user repository okay now we already create this function to get or to call api uh, by id and let's now create the block function over here Sorry.
so here is the user block that we need to create 400k data from api as you can see here this is the uh, class of user block and we need to create the user event and user state in user event we have get id event and that will be have attribute for id to passing the attribute of id and we also need to create user state to store that the user that we already called from the api uh, and we have a loading user and failure user to indicate when there is something failure so we can now the state of get data from api there is something error okay great and let's go to the app and here we create map event to state and here we need to define if event is get id event then this state or this logic will be called the first time is we want to tell in the application that state is loading and then we give a delay for one second and next we call the repository user and to get id function over here here's the function to call the api we parsing the URI http we parsing the endpoint over ull variable and then this is for passing data when we get the response from the api the data will be passing to the result model first because as you can see over here the structure of data is a nested json and the header of the json is respond code respond message and respond data so we need to parsing this attribute first then we can get this attribute for detail of data so this is the result model for structured json after respond api was passing to result model then we just need to call respond data from this attribute and we can parsing to our model class then we return user model to our block over here uh, so in data here we can get user model from the api so after this running perfectly and we can say to the application that the state is user state and with data of user data that's good this is how a block pattern will work to get data from the api and the next thing that we need to do is implement this block to our profile view or profile page so let's just create so let's just go over here and in this body we need to wrap this profile detail into block provider to provide our user block into stateful widget so here we provide the block user into block provider over here in create attribute over here we directly call the function of get id event because when user click the icon profile so application will directly call this event to get data user information from the api so we directly call the event get id over here so that's good and now let's go to this Stateful widget, then we need to consume the and in this build section, we need to implement block consumer to get the current state of get event ID that we already call. So let's create block consumer.
okay i already wrapped the widget into block consumer this is for consume our state of block and here is the listener to listen what the state that we get from the block when the state is loading user it will be showing the loading uh, indicator over here this loading indicator that i create in my component widget so this will be showing the dialog widget as a pop-up widget and if the state is user state and state of user or the attribute of user is not null then i need to close the pop up from the loading indicator over here because as you can see in the block user over here when i call get event id so the state will change to loading user and if state is failure then we need to close loading indicator first and then we sh will showing the message dialog with the detail error from this state failure this is the component of message dialog that i created it's over here when user click close the button then the pop-up will be closed so let's go back to here right so the next one that we have is build when this is the telling to the consumer that the builder will be running after this condition was done so when current state is user state and the current state of user state that has a user and uh, the user variable it's not null then the builder will be running to showing the widget container over here let's see here this is the widget and then the and this is first name attribute over here we store the value of first name from the api that we get now uh, the data profile was showing up and i think we need to call the email attribute stated user dot email so let's save now great now email will show in over here so let's check the api let's compare the data here look the first name of uh, up, uh the first name is update name let's need we need to refresh right okay now it's match with this api okay let's go back to this source code over here and let's try to get back and let's try to click this profile again and as you can see here the loading indicator is coming up and then once uh, the api was written to success then the data will be showing it's over here that's perfect one thing that i miss over here is the image of from uh, the profile so let's go back to the code let's find the image over here all right let's give the condition this is the condition if edit mode is true and image not null this is condition for edit of your profile image and this if the image mode is false then we will showing the image from the api okay let's just save it and then let's see what i get okay that's really good the image now is was changed okay now we successfully implement get data from api and parsing data into our model so and now we need to implement the edit of our profile so i will show to you the api for 
input data this is the endpoint that we will to use and the body of a request is the form data and the the attribute is id first name last name so i think this email is not to use anymore and the other one is file upload so i think we need to remove the email attribute yep so here is the body request that we will to send to the api so let's just implement this uh, endpoint into our application okay before we implement to this widget i think we need to create new repository over here so we need to create update function And so here is the update function that we need to create in user repository in this method we need to parsing the body as a dynamic and file for the image and here is the list of file why i create this list of file because in our api service we will parsing file as a list of file why i do that because in the implementation of form data because the implementation of put form data over here i looping the file over here so that's why i use list of file in this if file is not null then file will be added to the list of file here is the url that we will to hit for put data and this is a body that we send to the api service and then this is for passing data i written this as an integer because this api will return as a integer and now we need to go to user block we need to implement update method for uh, this function so we need to create a new event All right, this is save event that we need to create for update profile. So when save event is running, it will be changed to the state loading user. And then we give the duration for one second. And here is the form data. Uh, I think this is not first name, but it, this is a last name. So this is form data and we call the put form data from class web api over here then 
then we call the function of update from this repository user and we also pass in form data and file uh, image to the server after this api running successfully then we change the state to success save user so this is how save event will be running when we update profile data and let's go back to profile view now we need to implement uh the edit mode over here so let's just click this edit mode so okay i think this will be running error it's because uh let's just edit mode where is okay here is the edit from edit uh we need to parsing the state of user yep just like this right okay now when i click the button of edit over here the state will be changed to the edit mode and this is the widget of from edit there are two there are the controller for text editing so we want to update first name and the last name in this section Then this is the component of detail item edit component that I created and I also passing the widget for this component and the widget is for text uh, form fields like this. Uh, this is for last name and email will not update. Right, this is for update button and we need to call save event into on press method there So here we call the save event when the validation is validate and then call the save event to update data. If the validation is not validate, it will be showing the error of a validation like this. Before we test this function, we need to handle the state of success because we already declared the success state when the data successfully updated into our API. So we need to define this and put into the listener of block consumer. So let's put in here. Here we are handle the state of success save user when the update is successfully updated and then uh, we need to close the loading indicator and then we're showing information to user that update successfully into this message dialog and after that we set edit mode to false okay so now let's save file and, then we need and now we are ready to test our update function so let's just change this to one 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 and just click update look the indicator will show up then the successfully dialogue is coming okay let's close that's really good but there is something happen the last name attribute is not update it's because we're not calling get event id to get new data from the api so let's all right so we need to call this uh, event again when the message box is success to get the new data from the api okay now let's test update again so i think now i want to change the profile image and let's just update let's running okay 
just click close then the loading will be running again but this is still not working even though we already calling the get id event in here i think uh, there is something that i miss is over here so we need to give another statement or current state is success okay let's try again let's edit and then update right close but it still doesn't work i don't know what happened i think in here we missed something that's why this is not updated let's check this one okay. i think i forgot to passing the files uh, attribute over here so let's just give files and let's files and save again let's just test for once again here one 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 and we want to change to this image let's click update okay then update close okay now it's perfect but this uh, last time is still not updated what happened with this one okay let's do debug over here first name as the last name so let's check update button over here what the value that we passing to the repository here's the last name as first name and that's really good and for the block let's just check this one and we need to click edit one two three and click update right okay the value is perfect let's keep running and success all right now it's updated okay everything was perfect we already implemented to fetch data from api and we also implement update data with put method in api and we also implement the update data with image to the api yep i think that's all from me i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video